folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better and sometimes attraction people too. That's true. And today we have an attraction yes, person. Yes, we've got Bruce Hershen with the Butterfly yes. Palace. Yeah, so anyway, we will be talking to him in just a moment. Yes. And today is our first episode of officially, well, summer. I mean, I right. say June, summer. I don't know the exact day of when summer starts. Me neither. Who cares? Sometime. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, you know, there's a this is a big time of year for Branson. Lots of people come yes. in, lots of attractions in town. Um, and so you have some favorites? I really like the Hollywood Wax Museum. I mm -hmm. do. Just being able to go in, like take pictures with all the stars. That's pretty fun. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. You know, I like, I just like them all. You know, I think we have a lot of, we have probably more attractions in Branson than just about anywhere oh, in the country. Absolutely, and we're being added right now. You know, so. I, I like roller coasters. So if I was, no. I mean, if Silver Dollar City is an attraction, I'd say, probably that. You've ridden Time Traveler, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's great. It's awesome. I mean, I like all their roller coasters out there. You know, their Silver Dollar City's roller coasters are better than Disney's. You know, Disney, True. they don't have nothing. But see, I ride the ones at Disney because yeah. they're like, less like little kitty rides. Not the like, kitty ones, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, here's the dumb questions or silly questions. It says silly questions on here, but we've always said dumb, but right. I think there's still, some of them are kind of dumb, but, um, if I trip and fall, does it count as a road trip? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you like that one. I do. Uh, if, I like this one now. Um, if man evolved from monkeys, how come we still have monkeys? And where is the half man? It's a good point. Like, you know, you see these stickers with like, like where the people are like, like progressing. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like the science to actually do that would require like 30,000 changes. It's oh, just yeah. not, it's just not possible. Can you tell I'm not an evolutionist? <laughs> um, is it still illegal to park next to a fire hydrant, even if your car is on fire? Ooh, I mean, I don't know about that. I don't know, but I think it'd be a good place to park if yeah. your car was on fire. That way they wouldn't Pretty have handy. to go very far. There you go. Yeah. So. We'll be back in just a second with Bruce Hershen, so stay tuned. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson, and today I am here with Bruce Hershen at the Butterfly Palace. Well, welcome Bruce, it's good to have you here. It's great to be here, I, so, and I want to invite you to come to the Butterfly Palace. Okay, absolutely. And, and come see us. We, yeah. We're doing some really cool things there that's not happening anywhere else in the world. Really? Yeah, yeah. We've had kind of a, a crazy miracle happen. I'd love to tell you it's because we planned it so well and knew what was going to happen, but really stumbled into something. And I really want to tell you about it. Go for it. Okay, cool, <laughs> cool, cool. So the, a couple of different things. First of all, we weren't doing real well at the palace, and I asked the employees, if you can give me 5,000 more customers, I'll send 5,000 more dollars to the rainforest as a gift because we had just done some research and figured out that the money that we send to the people who form our little chrysalis, which come out to be our butterflies, uh, they're doing some amazing work to protect their rainforest where you know, they have to make their living. And they're paid better than most of the people in the community. So they're really the community leaders mm -hmm. and they're buying back land to protect the rainforest. So they didn't want my gift. Now, I said, uh, uh, our employees want to make sure that we feel like we've earned it. Can we send you $5,000 worth of butterflies extra? So, okay, we can do that. The next year, we had more than a 5,000 increase in customers again, and so we sent them $10,000 more. Okay, long story short, uh, $43,000 we were able to send to the rainforest over and above our regular $70,000 budget. So. What happened at the Butterfly Palace is we have like 50% more butterflies flying, okay? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So other butterfly houses don't have that kind of overstuffed too many in there, and we're continuing to do this. Now, the second thing that we got into, um, well, I come from the tourist business, right? And uh, so I'm always trying to figure out how to get the, the butterflies and the guests closer together. And they finally came up with this little thing. And uh, some other butterfly houses have seen us do this and they've tried it, 
but it's not working for them because they're charging a buck for these. So you only have a couple of them wandering around in the aviary at a time. So instead, um, we give them to everybody. And so when you are at the Butterfly Palace, there's a bunch of these moving around. Now, January and February, I just don't have enough customers and this kind of dies off. But let me tell you what happened, okay? Butterflies naturally want to stay with their instinct up at uh, 10, 15 feet because the forest floor in the rainforest is kind of a scary place for a butterfly. Lots of things that could get in there and get them. So that's above where the people are and that doesn't work out real well. But we had so many of these walking around and, and they have Gatorade in them. It's Gatorade. Really, it's really pretty good. Don't drink okay. any of that right now. Okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's Gatorade in there. That's, that's the secret formula that, that you have to uh, <clears throat> know about. So anyway, a few butterflies the first week uh, came down and tried this. And other butterflies apparently saw them, saw that they did okay. And so a few more come down. Now butterflies that we have are only alive, some of them for only three weeks. Some of them as much as three months, but, but it averages about four weeks. So entire life cycle of a butterfly, we had some brand new ones coming out and all they saw was, yeah, it seems to be okay to come down here and land on a little flower. Uh, before that, we had little kids trying to chase the butterflies down, you know, and I want to touch one. Well, instead, the butterflies are learning that they come to us. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. We, we, and, and as a result, you may have seen the billboard where, you know, the butterflies come sometimes and land on, <laughs> on your face or, you know. And, and you know what? That laugh that you get when a butterfly lands, I'm not going to show it to you on my nose, but we have those two right on, right on your face. Uh, you know, because they're all around these, these flowers. Those laughters are the memories that's going to go home with these people and they're going to remember for their life. That laugh with the family yeah. is gold. Yeah. And so you have, you have, you're making it a world impact by this butterfly palace in Branson, Missouri. That's right. Only, only in Branson would we be so interested in the guests. Uh, yeah. Most butterfly exhibits are run by entomologists. I didn't know much about entomology. I didn't even know the name until I got uh, into this thing. But the scientists really don't like the idea of getting the people and the butterflies close together. And so most butterfly houses, they're pretty happy to have mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. guys flying up high. Um, I've got a wonderful, wonderful entomologist. When you come by, find Matt, say hi. He is awesome. One of those science, scientists that can also speak human, you know, <laughs> so the rest of us can understand it. And he's fascinated with this idea of business. You know, he knows that he doesn't understand it, but, but he's going with us and helping us find ways to do really cool things. Yeah. So you're, you're impacting the rainforest yeah. by buying the butterflies from the rainforest. That's right. And so it protects the rainforest. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think a lot of people know that. And that's why one of the things we want to do on this show is tell people and then this is unique and different and you can get so close to a butterfly with just this little thing and it's i've been up there i've seen it it's fascinating yeah yeah and all different kinds of butterflies it, right yeah 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 so uh we have 130 different rainforest species that we're allowed by the usda to fly in our aviary and they have to carefully inspect every chrysalis before it comes to us that's good it's, we like the like them uh, treating things seriously about bringing insects into the U.S. Um, so carefully, carefully regulated. Um, but about 60 species at a time we'll have in there. And every week we get uh, somewhere around 30 uh, new species uh, in there. We try them in different combinations and who works well. And uh, We have to be real careful with what plants we have because the plants are sometimes tied to uh, two or three species. They can only eat off of this plant. They will only lay eggs on that plant and we don't have that plant in there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. A good mother will not lay her egg on a leaf that won't be fantastic for her baby to come out of that egg and immediately have a great first meal. You know, in the rainforest, the people who are farming the chrysalis forest, they take a paintbrush and they take the egg off of that leaf and they move it to one in their lab so it's completely protected. They get a brand new plant, there's such soft, supple leaves, it's wonderful, and they place each one when they see that the egg is ready. It's amazing how they farm yeah. chrysalis, caterpillars, and butterflies. And so, so from the very beginning of like 
having that butterfly on here, people don't realize what went in just to get that butterfly to even do that. That's right. And, and so that's what I, I find it fascinating. You can be part of a science experiment, getting butterflies close to people at the Butterfly Palace live and have fun with it. Yes. And, and besides, besides the Butterfly Palace, you have other things in there. And, yes. I, and I want to talk about that, but I'm going to run out of time. So we'll be back in just a second and you can learn more about what's going on at the Butterfly Palace with Bruce Hershey. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com. Hey, welcome back to Play Branson and we are here with Bruce Hershey. Yeah, so Bruce, we have these fancy armbands. So if someone wearing that comes into the Butterfly Palace, what do they have access to? Well, it, it, that's a wonderful question. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this on you yes. and make sure that you know this is actually good for three days. All right. Yeah, isn't that cool? Because sometimes on vacation, things don't go perfectly as planned. Right. And so this is a way to go, oh gosh, what else can we do? Let's go back to the Butterfly Palace. Because the kid loved the maze or loved the, you know, whatever, and they get more of that experience. Sure. So three days for the same price as yeah. the one day ticket. So people can go through the attraction on day one. They can, they can skip day two if they want, and they can come back for day three. If, and, and maybe time-wise, they don't have enough time to do it all. That's right. And so tell, besides the aviary, is that what you call it, is the aviary? Yes. Besides that, you have lots of other things. So tell people what else you have there. Well, um, there are other mazes, mirror mazes in Branson, but we've got the biggest one. And it's free for anybody who comes to the Butterfly Palace, and you can go through it forwards, backwards, as many times as you want. Some kids do it over and over and over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And you've, you've probably seen that kind of kid, haven't yes. you? Yeah, that, that does that. And, and uh, it's wide enough that a couple can walk through together and uh, have that experience arm in arm instead of the tight little box that uh, I, I don't like. So it's a really cool mirror maze in there. Um, what else do we do? We do face painting for those that want such as that done. We have 3D movies that are free when you get your wristband. A uh, couple of different movies and mm -hmm. um, fascinating stories about butterflies in those. Then we have the bungee maze, <laughs> which, which is uh, created after one of my real life experiences in the rainforest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So a lot of these trees will cast down lots and lots of roots. So we got a lot of these vines and roots coming down. And uh, it was running late in the day in the rainforest. And I knew that the circle trail that I was on would eventually come over there and back to the cars. And it was getting a little bit dark. So I decided I'd take that shortcut. Never take a shortcut <laughs> in the rainforest when it's getting dark. This is a really crazy idea. Um, and, and almost stepped into a clear pool of water. I couldn't see um, any ripple or anything. It's just, whoa, they're, they're fish. It must be water down there. I mean, so uh, that would have been an exciting experience. So we have a little pond. It's really a projection, so your kids okay, aren't gonna okay. get wet. So we'll be good. Uh -huh, yeah, and, and they get to climb through the vines and make the little circle there. And once again, like, like the mirror maze, you can do it over and over and over and over. And some of the kids love the butterflies. And some of the other kids, they wanna do the other stuff. <laughs> and then the last thing, the grand finale, and, and we're doing uh, four shows a day where we bring critters from the rainforest out for people who want to, to touch them. They'll take Harry. Would you like to meet Harry? Sure. Uh, Harry has no hair on him, so <laughs> oh, he's, no. he's a little confusing. <laughs> yes, but he loves to come out. And so our person will have Harry laying across their arm and they'll show the kids at and the adults uh, take two fingers and rub his tail and it's really cool it's neat so four times a day they're going to get some kind of critter brought out and we're going to talk to them about it and all through the day you can go through and see them in their little habitats 
around the room. We've got small things and we've got a couple of big things in there that uh, you get to explore. So, so for people that think it's just butterflies, it's much more than that. Yeah. And so you've got mazes, you've got the, the, all the animals, and, and it's almost, I mean, there's a lot there. Plus you've got a big gift shop. Yes. So you got that too? A big gift shop, yes, yes. we do, yeah. yes we do. Um, you know, one of the things in our Critter Center are poison dart frogs. And don't you think it's dangerous for our employees to have to handle poison dart frogs? I don't know. You don't know. Well, it sounds like it, but maybe not. Not, not a bit. Not, yeah. there's not, not really a bit. It's fine. You know, in the rainforest, uh, the folks that live there learn to put their spear points and rub them on the poison dart frog and get the sweat off their back. Then they'd shoot the monkey out of the tree, and hopefully the monkey falls after he goes to sleep after being poisoned. It's sleeping poison. And, and they fall down, and the people can get them. Of course, sometimes the monkey stays in the tree draped over a, a limb and they wasted all their time. Wow. But we don't let our poison dart frogs eat the ants, which is really what makes the poison. So mm -hmm. ours are completely safe to handle. And there's a bunch of them in there. Yeah. So. so you are part of the Hershen family, which have a lot of uh, attractions really around the country. Yes. Um, but you also have another attraction here in town, which is the Talking Rocks Caverns. That's so you want to tell people about that as well? Well, uh, three generations of the Powell family ran Talking Rocks Cavern, what's called it Fairy Cave. And, and so if you look it up in, in history and all, after the third generation was starting to get a little older and there wasn't anybody in a fourth generation, so they approached my father. And so now we're two generations in my family of mm. being the caretakers of the cave. And the Powells felt that this cave was so unique and so special, they had to find a way to be able to share this with people. And it was not easy. It's kind of a vertical cave, so wow, it's an amazing staircase they built in the 1920s. The engineers say it's stronger now than it was when they built it, it's incredible. But, but they created all this access so people could come see the amazing beauty in Talking Rocks Cavern. Uh, one formation in there is 100 feet tall. Wow, that's and if, big. If you've been in other caves before, that, that's, that's pretty exciting. You know, in, in other caves, if you see draperies, you know, bacon that they see along there lit up, um, boy, if it's three or four inches, that's pretty exciting. And, you know, we got lights yeah. and spotlights. We've got bacon that's 20 feet long, 20 feet long. So, and there's a natural part in the draperies at one point, big enough for people to walk into, and another part in the draperies where they can walk out of. And so you actually walk into this living crystal cave formation. 55 feet around, and the water that forms it only has about 10 feet that it forms at a time, and it slowly migrates across. And when it gets far to the other end, the wet mm. here, it builds up a little bit and starts that long trek back over. So a year and a half to see that gr continuing to grow all the way wow. back and forth. So that cave is over by Branson West. Uh -huh. And so it's not that far from Branson. So it's a quick, what, 10 minute drive, maybe somewhere in that ballpark? Yep, yep about, about five minutes past so, our City. Yeah, and it's open, what, year round? Yes, yep. yeah, every day, but uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then Butterfly Palace, when is it, when it is it open? Blah, blah, I can't Same thing, it's open all year and, and we need volunteers to come train our butterflies. Uh, all year long, uh, so, so do that. We also do a season pass, and some people there you just go. keep doing this over and over, and it's really cool. But we're open all year long, too. Okay. So if someone wants to go online and get more information about your products, what would they, where would they go? The ButterflyPalace.com. There you go. Talking ro TalkingRocksCavern.com. Talking Rocks. Sorry. And so, folks, here's the deal. If you are driving out to Silver Dollar City, the Butterfly Palace is really the last main building in Branson on the right uh, before you kind of get out into the Henning State Forest and Shepherd of the Hills. So it's right on the right-hand side. And then Talking Rocks, you got to go past Silver Dollar City into Branson West and then take a left. And so, folks, you're going to be amazed by this stuff. Come check it out. Uh, you want to see butterflies flying around uh, right in front of you. Uh, the critters, the maze, there's a lot to do here. And so Bruce, I, I feel like we could talk like another hour because you've got a lot of stories I know. Oh, but, goodness gracious. Yes. But we're out of time. And so until next time, thanks for coming. Okay, we'll do more next time. There you go. Thanks. Come see us.
Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. We're wrapping it up as always. And a uh, great interview with Bruce. Yes, that was awesome. So what's coming up? Do you, do you know what's on the oh, list here? I don't know what's on the list. So we have classic antique boat cruising on Table Rock Lake this weekend. I heard up. about that. That's going to be pretty cool. So that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something I've never heard of, Branson Marble and Glass Festival this yes. weekend in downtown Branson. So that, to me, sounds like a new festival. Now, I, I see people, like, looking for marbles all over town all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody hides the marbles. Right. And then people look for them. So I don't know if that's related to this, but Who there's a Marble and Glass that's Festival. That's just being downtown Branson. I mean, that's always fun, just to see what's going yeah. on down there and checking out the old-time stores. Dick's 5 and 10, one of my yes. favorite stores in the old downtown Branson. You can find everything at that place. We did a place. fun interview there. We so did. go back and check it out if you missed it. We did. And then we have National Law Enforcement Week begins this Saturday, and so that's when we invite all the law enforcement into town and thank them for what Absolutely. they do for our, our, our country and their communities. Um, next week, I'm pumped about next episode. Yes. Who do we have, Chris? We have Steve Presley. Woohoo! And, and folks, let me tell you, I've been working for years to get somebody from Seriously. the Presleys on here, and so I'm, I'm just totally excited. But Steve is also one of the longest running performers in Branson. Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And so we want you to tune in next Thursday and check us out. Um, if you haven't planned your Branson vacation, be sure to go to ibranson.com. You can get everything there, or you can call those folks at 1-877-ENTERTAIN. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.